Hello everyone! We are back with more Life is Strange, and I, for one, am very excited. In the last episode, we were introduced to our main character, Max Caulfield. She is a senior at Blackwell Academy, where she is studying, among other things, photography mm. under the infamous Mr. Oh. Jefferson, Ooh. who everyone wants to sleep with, I, I guess. guess. So. But things quickly took a turn when we stumbled upon one of the popular kids in the bathroom who pulled a gun on this blue-haired girl right. over drugs. It was crazy. Yikes. And we found out we can reverse time. <laughs> <laughs> we also made several decisions that might well, according to the game, they will impact yeah. <laughs> the future. I think that is enough from us. Let's just dive in. Eric definitely is going to be pissed um, so remembers long. a lot more of the names <laughs> than I do. But I'm, I'm, I'm so bad with names, nah. so getting all these different names thrown at me at once was a lot. But You're good. All right. I guess we'll... Oh, we do have journal entry. Should I wait? I don't know. Maybe maybe let's let's go to our room first, explore this area, then we'll get okay. into some journal stuff. Gotcha. Um Let's see. Okay, health stuff. Yes. Oh, it's the same thing about the uh backpack. On uh, the cat pictures. And someone stole someone's fancy face cream. Yeesh. Kind of a crazy school, if you ask me. I know exactly how it exfoliates, and I'll be watching your skin the second it clears up. Oh, uh, that's great. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait a second. Go, Miss Grant. Ah. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Have I been missing this the whole time? Has there always been arrows, no. and I just didn't see? I don't know. I don't okay, so this is what we signed the petition against. Yes. Oh, so I feel like... Max doesn't have a whole lot of confidence in herself at the yeah, moment. She's yeah. very self-critical. I agree. So this is the map of the dormitory. Where Where is our room? Welcome to Black Hill. 219. <laughs> Max Caulfield, who else? Stella? You met Stella, I believe. Oh, yeah. Brooke. Kate. Kate, Kate is almost right across from us. Oh, she's right oh, next Victoria's to... Victoria's right across from us? Oh, great. And she's right Dang. next to Kate as well. And Brooke... Mm -hmm. who had the drone, I believe. And Juliet's with that guy, right? We found a bunch of the, her name carved. Juliet, and was it Zachary? Was it? I can't remember. I think it's Zachary. Zach Attack. I'm sure it's what they And this is just the Black school as isn't whole. that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, so this is... Oh. Room 217? No way in oh. hell am I ever going in here. Hmm. Who's, who's Why? in there? Welcome to Black Hill. Stella. So Stella wonder, is a bit of a Stephen King. Is shining. it about? Is it about Stella, or is it about? Is there something weird with the room? Ooh, I know. Taylor is a slave. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Pathetic. Speaking of the Vortex Club, one yes. thing that we realized after playing the first part mm -hmm. is that Vortex is another word for tornado, tornado, and there was that tornado in the beginning. Right. So it makes it seem like those have to be connected in some way. Some degree, right? I mean, it can't be a coincidence, right? No. Plus, we had the butterflies around, which means the butterfly effect. Mm. So just a couple of things you picked up after the fact as well. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Don't be afraid, be ready. Operate firearms. Young guns training. Man, people here are merciless. Safe not uh, sorry. See Kate's video proof? What? That's more bullying. Yeah. Damn. Poor Kate, everyone's so mean to her. I know. Can you hear me? Yes, we all can. Please respect your floor and neighbors. Be quiet in the halls after 10 p.m. Mm. No boys allowed. Okay. As if. <laughs> As if. So people break that rule, I'm sure. Yes. Juliet, extreme reporter. I hear laughter. Let's eavesdrop. So Juliet is writes for the paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Stop him. Okay. 
More missing person posters. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we say anything different. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. We still don't know who put those up. Mm -mm. I wonder if we will find out. I know. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Bathrooms. Oh. TP. How did this happen? Is, is someone being pranked? Oh, I'll, I'll take a look in a moment. Be alert on campus. Following tips for your safety. Always be aware of your location. Mm. Always let a friend know where you are. Always report any incident immediately to the campus authorities. Good tips. Yeah. Geek Girls Book Club. <laughs> no boy wizards or sad vampire fiction allowed. <laughs> that's great. Okay, so that's... Is that the same brook or a different brook? Uh, it's Brooks. Oh, wait, is it Brook S? Terry Brooks right here. Yeah. So that's a different Brooks. Terry Brooks is the last name. What? Is it Terry Brooks? No, here? no, this is these are authors. Contact. Oh. This is a student who's the contact. Brooke. Yeah, because Brooke is spelled... With an E, right? Yeah, so that could be something. Thanks for the warning. Different. So, I'm kind of confused with the Vortex Club. Like, everyone's in it, but what is this whole coming soon thing? Does that mean it's not official yet? Maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. Here is the showers. Ooh. It looks a little... Gross. Little, yeah, a little dicey in there. Is the floor all... Yeah, the floor's all wet. Hmm, very a inviting. random desk. All right, what's going on over here? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Fire alarm. At least that's an alarm from this century. <laughs> what is that? Oh, like a boy's? No. Yes. Is that the male symbol? Yeah. More uh, Love you, mom. <laughs> that's random. <laughs> Don't be a zombie. They live. Oh, the social media thing. Still relevant. Today's age. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Wait, is that? That's Kate. Yeah. Oh, we wow. can draw over it. Nice. Peace. Yeah. Oh, oh, I love, I love, I mean, like, the big decisions are great and all, but I love when right. you can find, like, stuff that you might miss. Yeah. You know? Cool, cool, cool. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. <sighs> Don't let depression keep mm. you down. Lost Statistics phone. tutor wanted. Help, it's been almost a month of stats, and I still don't understand. <laughs> is this math or philosophy with graphs? <laughs> I love stats. Courtney... Diamond phone case last seen at the Vortex Club party. So it's still around. It's, so it is happening. But why is it co like what's coming soon? Maybe it's like a rebrand or something. I don't know. Mm. <gasps> Me vegan club. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't know who it is. Yeah, I think I've been missing stuff, but that's okay. Girls night out. Halloweeny scream a lot. Sounds like fun. <laughs> okay. More posters. There's so many uh, posters here. My room? This is room. <gasps> Courtney's, or uh, Courtney, Victoria's room is open. Gandhi! Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking yeah, break. Yeah, exactly. What's going on in there, huh? <laughs> oh, that's great. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Got a, a what is photo <laughs> right there on the right. Warren this should be Brooke. all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. So we think it's probable that Warren likes Oops. Max. Yeah. So Maybe that's why he's not going after Brooke. Right. That's all this, this game is missing right now. Some awkward love triangles. Oh, I'm sure we'll get some. Yeah. <laughs> um, view of... Oh, that's where we came from. Yeah, there's a football stadium. And then the courtyard. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I put something on here? Maybe. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. That's, That's not, true. not true. Yeah, come on. Can we choose? Oh, uh, <laughs> that's so sad. Obvious, but true. Poor Max. Max. 
Okay, I can't like bust my way in. No. <laughs> Enter. Another pair of Converse. She likes the Chucks. A guitar. All right, home what do we think home. of uh, Max's decoration? Also posters. Bro, this is legit for high school. Like, I know, not right? Even for, uh, college dorms are this, are this nice. There's the photo wall. Bed. Oh, there's so much. Oh. Text uh -huh. from Ma. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this. You know she's mad because there's no punctuation except for the question. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Or either that or it was like a voice, a uh, voice to text. text. Voice to text. <laughs> so it did not work out. No. Damn. And now we're seen as crazy, I bet. I feel like mom kind of sounds a little accusatory, like, let me tell my side of the yeah, story first. I know. Telling stories. <sighs> okay, what's this? There's lots to look at. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max, or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. <laughs> Warren, Warren is a crazy guy. He is. Let's take a look at ourselves. Photo. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Just gets worse the older you get. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Is that a collectible? I don't know. Yeah. Yay. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. I feel like we've been doing an okay job so far. Mm -hmm. I can turn strip. off the power strip. But then my lights would be turned off. Mm -hmm. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. <laughs> Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. <laughs> When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. That's a relationship you can't break. Nope. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. That's nice. It Aww. says Max on it, too. Aw, cute. Cookies. Cookies. Can I have one? I love that Mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. Mm. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. Damn! Thanks, Mom. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. She had a sad birthday? Gotta say, though, if I was sent chocolate, what was it? Chocolate coconut. cookies yeah. with coconut? That would be sad for me, because I am not a <laughs> coconut person. <laughs> but maybe Max is. Yeah. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. That's important. Gotta like the clothes you wear. Mm -hmm. Come on, Jor. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Mm -hmm. Oh, happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. We miss you, but we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you, your mother and father. Okay, so Aww. overall supporting parents. Yeah. Okay, so she's, she's probably just worried. That's why the text, you know, sounded like that. Yeah. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Man Ray. You can play. Sweet. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. We can do that now. Is it going to be like a sequence, button sequence? That'd be fun. Can you imagine imagine being in high school and living on your own? That'd be crazy. You I know, couldn't... like even like sure they're on a school campus, so there are restrictions, but it's still a big difference from living living in your parents' house mm -hmm. for senior year. Yeah, I probably would have got nothing done. I had a serious case of senioritis. Same.
Now, I imagine this could be an endless loop. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, she's quite the artiste, both with a camera and a guitar. Book. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. So is that, Thunderbirds. What, is that her old high school? Must be. The Thunderbirds. Instant film is so damn hard to find mm. and expensive now. It's true. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I'm not like the other Are photographers. <laughs> window. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. <gasps> Plant. Looks in mint condition. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. <laughs> Lisa. You are uh. thirsty. I'm the worst oh. baby mama. Drink up. <laughs> I bet my, I could kill the plant. I bet it could die. Yeah. Can you also water it too I'll much? One day I'll organize my film collection. Maybe. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. HD TV. <laughs> uh, what did I see? Or was that this? The DVDs? Yeah. DVDs. Okay, we'll stay away from the computer. Yeah, More so photos. far. photos. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Must be old friends. Yeah, Fernando. Ah, what do I look at first? Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. <laughs> I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Totally. Is that too hipster? I don't yes. care. Music <laughs> inspires me in my photography. Nice, we got a music track. Hey. Oh, Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Okay, I like the music, but I'm turning it off. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's probably copyrighted. <laughs> we'll try to avoid it if we can. <sighs> Max and Chloe, oh, was that it? best yeah. friends okay. forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll that be. That we haven't. Idiot. Seen. Like, there's not that many people here, right? No, I feel like we should have seen her already. Um. Okay. Before I do anything else, let's read the journal. Okay. We have several updates. We haven't read it since the whole time thing no. happened, like the reversing the time. Right. So we have quite a few updates, it looks like. Mm -hmm. October 7th. This will be the weirdest journal entry I will ever make. So weird I don't know how or where to start, but it started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by the lighthouse until I came to the edge of a cliff. Then I saw a giant tornado headed for Arcadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging my face, and I was scared shitless. Then a boat hit the lighthouse and I swear I actually felt like I was going to die. But I woke up in Mr. Jefferson's class and I wasn't even sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called on me, but I totally blew the answer. Of course, Victoria pounced on me and made me look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful. Then I didn't have the guts to turn in a photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. Well, Victor Victoria did her usual suck up to Jefferson. Right. He's so cool and he clearly wants me to succeed. I felt so shitty, I just wanted to get to the bathroom to be alone and wash my face after that nightmare, or daymare. Once I got to the bathroom, I saw this odd, beautiful blue butterfly flutter in, and right when I took a photo of it in the corner, Nathan Prescott came in freaking out, talking to himself. I hid in the corner and this punk girl came in and they started to arguing about drugs and money. Then Nathan actually whipped out a gun and shot the girl. Eesh. This is where it gets strange. When Nathan fired the gun, I came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason, as if I could stop the bullet. But suddenly, I feel the world twisting around me and this pressure in my head. Everything seemed to rewind and I found myself right back in class at my desk. I literally thought I had been dosed with some drug until I calmed myself down. I saw everything happen in class the way it did before. Major Groundhog Deja Vu. <laughs> Major Groundhog Deja Vu. Ah. Somehow I was able to actually rewind time. 
I knew the only way to find out if I was having a breakdown was to go back to the bathroom and see if I could save that girl from Nathan this time. I had no idea how either. I just knew I couldn't live with myself if I let her die again. I escaped Jefferson this time by knowing exactly how to answer his questions and rushed to the bathroom. I hid in the corner again and I couldn't believe it when Nathan showed up, freaking out all over again. Then the girl came into the bathroom and before Nathan could shoot her, I smashed open the ancient fire alarm and scared both of them away. Victory! <laughs> Until I got grilled by the security chief, David Madsen, Madsen. who thinks he's Chuck Norris, <laughs> Blackwell Ranger. Nathan Prescott almost kills a girl in the bathroom, but no, I'm the problem. Right. I was so glad when Principal Wells stepped in to shoo David away. Then I made the possibly fatal decision to inform Principal Wells that I saw Nathan waving a gun in the bathroom. I didn't think I should mention the girl or my new rewind abilities <laughs> for obvious reasons. He didn't want to believe me and almost made me feel like shit for telling him that Blackwell's most big fucking deal student would carry a firearm to class. I couldn't tell him that he actually killed a girl in a previous timeline. Right. So my school day started with an apocalyptic dream that ended with saving a life and discovering I have some kind of power to rewind time. I don't know how to top that. <laughs> Everything feels so surreal right now. I can't talk to any about this, anybody about this. Well, the only person I could, I haven't seen in five years. I could confide in Warren, he's smart and knows science, so maybe he could even think of an explanation, though I have no idea what that could be. Until I can figure this out, I better stay on the down low with this stuff and focus on my classes. Warren sent me a text asking for his flash drive back, even though I haven't had chance to check out all the cool shows and films on there. I watched a few episodes of Doctor Who and X-Files, binged on Full Metal Alchemist, then Faster Pussycat, Kill Kill. All kinds of Amazon women, black and white, badassery. Tetsuo, a total cyberpunk trip with amazing visuals, and Scott Pilgrim yeah. for about the millionth time. That's one of our favorite Max movies. Max is, yeah, Scott Pilgrim fan. That's cool. Yeah. I feel like we would get along with Max. I think so, too. On a side note, I saw a missing persons poster. Well, more than just one. But right. <laughs> For Rachel Amber, a pretty Blackwell student who vanished. It's so sad to see her smiling face and think about the awful things that could happen. If there was a way to, for me to rem if there was a way for me to rewind back six months, I totally would. I had to go back to the dorm to get Warren's flash drive, and yes, Victoria and her vortex vixens blocked me from getting in and even took my picture. It was so high school movie, I can't believe she did it. She actually told me to go fuck your selfie, though it was funny. I don't know why she has to act that way. She already has everything she wants, doesn't she? And she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up with a way to get her out of my way. I don't want to use this power for trivial bullshit, especially if I have been given an actual gift from the mm. universe. But it did give me a chance to test it out. But I felt like sit I felt like shit seeing Victoria sitting there by herself on the steps covered in paint. She didn't look like the Queen Biatch of Blackwell, <laughs> just a lonely girl as confused as me. Mm. I knew I had to find out if she was okay. She was actually nice and apologized. She even deleted the picture she took of me off her phone. So maybe there's hope for the future. Okay, a big decision there then. Yeah. All right, we have updates on Nathan, David, David. and the principal. Just when I thought Victoria Chase would be the worst of my social problems, now I have to deal with Nathan Prescott. But I guess he was the one who triggered my crazed rewind power by shooting that girl in the bathroom. He's 18 and already a scary fucking prick. I guess I have a little advantage on Nathan by being able to manipulate time, but if he shoots me, I may not be able to reverse anything. I have to be careful around him, especially since he's obviously got friends in high places as his family last name, it's practically branded on every building here on Blackwell. His money against mine. On one hand, I do I do kind of feel bad for Nathan because he doesn't seem to be in control, like he's dubbed up or over over medicated. On the other, he's an asshole who nobody has called out, and he almost killed did kill a girl on campus. Should I go straight to the police? What do I say about my rewind power? Like I say anything. I just have to watch my own back from now on. Oh, school days. I I do feel maybe a little bit unsure about making that decision now to tell about Nathan. Mm. Just because it didn't do anything 
And do you think there's a chance now that he could find out? Maybe. That I tried to rat him out? Could I don't be. know. Whoa, I swear that security guard is the biggest ass here. And that's saying a lot. <laughs> he always treats everybody like they've committed a crime or they're about to commit one. He grilled me in the hall today and I thought he was going to arrest me. I don't know much about him, but I heard he was kicked out of the army or something. Uh... So of course he would end up at Blackwell Academy in charge of security. Aren't you supposed to feel, I don't know, secure on campus? Bro dude swaggers everywhere with that badge and gun like he's looking to tase somebody. He would make a good photo portrait of authority though. Who does a guy like that marry? I feel sorry for his family. Mm. I would be it would be like living in a barracks. Shudder. Just one person I have to avoid at Blackwell. Just another person I have to avoid at Blackwell. Collect them all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Confederate yeah. flag over here. All right. US, it's funny. I can't figure out where Principal Wells is coming from. For some reason he seems to be suspicious of me at all times. Who knew I was that much trouble? He wanted to know why I was zoning out in the halls. I stuttered like a fool. He has so much power over my scholarship, I get uber nervous around him. I've seen him laughing with other teachers and students, so I know he must have a problem with me. Hmm. He also seems a little stressed out. I would be too if I had to oversee Blackwell and all its drama. I thought I, was, I, thought I smelled alcohol on his breath, but that Ooh. could have been his cologne, right? But I remember my first meeting in his office and he was so nice and made me feel like I was becoming part of a special world. He said he hoped I would become a great photographer and someday return the favor to Blackwell. I thought that was a bit of wishful thinking, but it made me feel good. I just need to lay low around him until I can I can somehow gain his trust. Interesting. So I did feel like um, when he did acknowledge told the truth about uh, Nathan, his reaction was a bit better than when you hid the truth away from him. I mean, it was so, it was better know. as far as the scholarship goes, but based on that text from our mom, yeah. it's pretty clear now that he thinks that we're just lying, so it might Backfire. have the same effect anyway. Yeah, I know. I don't know. So he could have a bit of a drinking problem. So, oh, right, I have to select them each. Individually to get rid of the star star. What are these? So just... Oh, these are my I get to see like what pictures I've Oh, it's all the documents that I've read. Gotcha. Oh, that's cool. I, yeah. I can collect them. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, or maybe is it just important documents? Ooh. I wonder and do we want to take a take a rest? Sure, Warren can wait. I mean, we can use it after what we've been through. I know, right? Yeah, just relax. Oh, take some it deep breaths. It feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre, and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. That would be cr pretty crazy. crazy. A little inception <laughs> going on there. A twist. But it seems pretty real. Yeah, for sure. Um, sticky note, photo album, let's look at this. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Um, how about the laptop? There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Ah. Daniel has so uh -oh. much talent. I hope nobody hates on Aww. it just because it's me. That's a sketch. Of my new muse. <laughs> so That's what, fun. this is our Facebook, Facebook page? She's got 12 <laughs> subscribers? Wait a minute. What are subscribers? And for anyone friends? Are people maybe paying it's, her? Maybe it's people who... Well, maybe. Yeah. Either people are paying her or it's people who like follow her mm. rather than just be friends. Yeah. I am so addicted to this site. <laughs> Look Camera at these porn. vintage beauties. I like it. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. 
Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV, cult, classic, and fucked up films on that fat flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now, can you quickly explain to me how a camera works? <laughs> BC Warren. Who, who's Ed? Thank you for ordering? Ordering what? Can we not see Ed? I can't look at it. It's Damn. Interesting. That's it? Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Aww. Dana. Oh, she... Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Okay. Great. I guess that's where we're going. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Dana. Dana. Think we got everything? I think. So which one was Dana's room? <gasps> you can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. What? What the fuck is going on? Drama. All right, time for another puzzle. Welcome yes. to the real drama queens of Blackwell. What did they do? Oh, this is so stupid. Juliet. Answer, you wuss. Ugh. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. Yeah, I got that right. Hey, you Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Um. She's your friend. You don't Friends don't friend. sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably uh -oh. not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out hey. with your camera. What's going That's on That's why here? I'm talking to you now. What's my I'm last name? I'm trying to be name? nice. Mm. I have no idea. Uh, they all sound... Why'd they have to give us four options? And they all sound very similar. Mason? I'm leaning towards Mason. Uh, I thought it was Olsen or... Okay, do you, do you, do you. Okay, we'll go mine uh, first, then we'll try yours. Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Damn. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. Rewind. By the way, Juliet Watson. Watson. That was my last guess. This one's kind of cheap. <laughs> That's fun. Answer, you wolf. Hey, Juliet. Let me out, Oh, yes, Max. So I... <laughs> oh, that's where I get to do it. Juliet yeah. Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you, you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. <sighs> if you don't let me out, I will scream. How do you know? The facts? Yeah. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could that's, say She's that. not trustworthy. But why would Dana go after your yeah. boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. So no concrete evidence. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. So... Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. <gasps> Victoria's room. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Let's get in there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Dope. Is she here? Ooh, snooping! This is fun. It's very... It definitely has a different vibe than my room. A bit more uh, modern. Modern. Modern look. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Oh, okay. Actually, I don't need to do that. Is the Vortex Club a cult? One of Blackwell Academy's most durable and influential social groups, the Vortex Club, started in the neon 1980s as a new wave rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Reagan era. Okay, so the Vortex Club has been around for a, a long while. time. So something new is coming, it seems like. Yeah. That's what all those posters are about. Mm -hmm. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. <laughs> so the Vortex Club was originally a haven from the peer pressure that every generation experiences. How ironic, then, that the revolutionary roots of social misfits has become what some students claim is an elitist cult. Or is this just envy at one of Blackwell's most successful organizations? 
We tried to interview Vortex Club member Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop the story from publication. Okay, so Juliet and... Not a good look, Victoria. And Victoria aren't on good terms. Mm -hmm. Which gives us a motive. It does. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch <laughs> Final Fantasy Spirits Within. What? I don't care I've... what anybody says. That's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. I've actually seen that. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just like an animated movie. What? That's a random movie to throw in there. <laughs> Notice fun. she has a Jefferson photo in her room. At right. least one. It's signed. Yeah, but it was also Square Enix, I believe. They've done Final Fantasy games. So I wonder if that's like why they threw that in there. I don't know. Through... That oh, ref man. the this Final Fantasy so reference. This is so wrong. Hmm. I better find proof fast. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that <laughs> wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. <laughs> Sorry, Max, but we're we're gonna take our sweet time in here. I want to look at. Is this I a? Don't. Oh, is that a? It kind of looks like the Speaking photo. Speaking of selfies. Uh, yeah. But it's probably not. Where is it here? Unless you mess it up and then you have to take a photo of it. I don't know. If I did, let's see, let's see. Let's I can rewind, right? Let's play a little right? photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here and this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Oh. So if I take a photo and then rewind, is it Do I keep the photo? I wonder. That was it, but I just want to see. Because, like, I don't want to make an enemy of her <laughs> any more than... Right. So let's see. Yeah! Keep it. Sweet. Nice. All right. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Mm. Color me impressed. What is it? Like a just an art? Oh, a Seattle Arts Expo? Looks like, yeah, looks like it. Ooh, gallery letter. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. So she was denied yeah. at the Croft Gallery. Okay, she's, she's done all that then. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. <laughs> all right, we looked at all this. Look at that. Make sure there's nothing up above. I'm going to be thorough. OK. Tablet. That's probably where the stuff is. They should call this series aloof, cold and soulless. Mm. Kind of like Victoria. <laughs> Do you think she's going to catch us? Maybe. She has a poster of uh, Rachel. Rachel Amber. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Who cares? She's writing that on the missing persons poster? She's jealous. Jeez. That's crazy. Victoria oh, is a real that? Jefferson groupie. What's this? Oh, more. More Jefferson at the Bean Hip Cafe. Mm. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Okay, we've got a laptop. Let's check out the tablet first. No, officer, I'm not snooping. <laughs> Just admiring Victoria's cutting edge tech. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I what? will join her posse. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Sticker. Sticker for what, huh? Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. And jewelry. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. All right, we're going to get the evidence. Whatever evidence it is. <sighs> yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. The latest MacBook. Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. Oh. But we already know because we checked the... I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. She did say she and deleted it, right? Shot. Wow. She's got 1,100 subscribers. More than friends. Interesting. Yeah, it's like... 
It's like us. <laughs> 19. Oh, that's, I guess I didn't think about that. It Like, current day, they would be our ages. 1995, that's a year before I was born. I was born in 94. So, so we I'd... would be, like, the same ages as them during maybe a little bit ahead. You would have graduated just, like, a year or two ago. When did this take place? 2013. Teen? Okay, so I'm... I graduated high school in 2014. I'm a freshman in college at this point. That's kind of... Actually, that's kind of perfect. That it yeah. does... Maybe that's why it feels so relatable, relatable. Is because it's during the time yeah. period that we were high school. Right, 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 right. Nice. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Bits down. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Are we timed? Taylor was had to inform me that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sext from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass, believed me, and so I sus- expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your pop-, pop-, pop... Oh my gosh. Get out your popcorn, VC. And she sent this to Taylor. Taylor, which is another one of her clicks. You know... Uh, Victoria's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I guess she's not just crappy to me, huh? Yeah. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I think we're gonna get out of here cleanly. I don't know. Unless we walk into each other as we're exiting. We have to do some rewind. It's all good. I guess she shouldn't have left her room open and unlocked. Yeah. Juliet, read this. Of course. We good? I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. (laughs) Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. (laughs) Well done. The Blackwell Ninja, I'll take it. Yeah. They made up so quickly. (laughs) Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. She's very uh, pink. Dana really does look stressed about all of this. Hey, Dana. Mm. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. I mean, Juliet did overreact a little bit. Well, did she overreact? I, I guess With that, for a high schooler. Yeah. Uh, but it's really Victoria's fault. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. (gasps) Yeah, call that. Call that. Yep. Here we go. Here it comes. What are you gonna do? He's a good guy. It'll come out eventually. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Ooh, but do we like Warren? Ooh, it would be a cool sticker without the words. Uh, do you mind if I take a look at this? This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I passed out. Oh, no, wait. Is that what it says? How I passed out? Yeah. If you need any money, let me know. Any money? Hmm. Interesting. Logan. Okay, so Loga, Logan likes Dana. Yeah. That's the flash drive. No, wait. What is this? What is this? This is... Is that a pregnancy test? Oh! <gasps> That looks like a home pregnancy test. Uh-oh. Do we take it? Wait, let's look around at everything else first. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. 
dramatic, I guess. All right. I feel like she's 100% going to see us pick up this pregnancy yeah. test. Yeah. Well, good thing we can always rewind time. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Maybe we should, okay. Yeah, well, we'll definitely rewind it, but now we know. Nice, Max. Yeah. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. That's okay. But I could rewind and make it up to her. <laughs> make it up to her? Hey, Dana. Oh. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Yeah. Can you keep a secret, Max? So that was what the whole thing with Logan was about, maybe? Could the money? Be. Or was that who it was, oh, Logan? Oh, yeah. If you need money? What did she ask me? Uh, can you keep a secret? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. I was pregnant. Oh. Was. Oh. What about the other? Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Logan. Can I ask? Is that being too nosy? Or is that, but it's not my business kind of like rude? Or. I don't know. Ugh. I mean, we already know who it is. Yeah. But I don't know if. Who then? And you don't have to tell okay. me. There we go. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Okay, so it, all right, it all worked out. Logan. Logan got her pregnant, but she's not pregnant anymore. Mm. Uh, mind if I look at your laptop? Too? Ooh, Dana's Facebook <laughs> well, wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. So it is Facebook. I guess so. Of course, a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. She's got more subscribers than Victoria. So fascinating Victoria. to get a peek into Dana's social media world. Hey, girl! And thanks for yes, the party Max, favors. So terribly wrong. What does that say, Trevor? What up, Dana? Just couch. Wait, what does that say? Just. Oh, we can yeah. look at it. Just. Justin, couch locked with Super, Super Mario. Mario. If you want to come over, we can blaze and play. Yeah. Or go for a walk. Let me know. I'll be here. Still here. Hello. Is Trevor a nice guy? I uh, know. Maybe a little too nice. Well, she didn't see. Oh. There's that damn flash drive. It's been quite the adventure. Must protect yes. my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Oh, I can... Uh... Well, shouldn't I do this on my computer? Yeah. A little uh, Lord of the Rings reference. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for everything, Dana. Deuces, Dana. Oh, I really got to keep track of all these different, not only the names, but the pairings. Yeah, it's so stressful. It is. You know, it's not stressful. Hitting that like button and subscribing <laughs> for more Eric and Sarah level up content. If you're enjoying the series so far, <laughs> I know I sure am. Yes. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. So do we have to hide oh, it? Oh, we can't look at any of these? Not even Max. I know, I wish I could see all the... It's all just movies, right? And weird, shows and stuff? Weird Science, that's a, I know that's a movie. Greatest TV show ever. M Muzak. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. Max okay, well, I guess that's it. All capitalized. Can we go? Back to so. go on our way to Warren. You know, first interaction with Warren. Yeah, I'm excited to see what he's like in person. Because mm -hmm. he seems pretty crazy so far. Yeah, a little wacky. <gasps> Attacks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. Very sarcastic guy. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, he has been uh, out there for a bit. Yeah. Okay, we're coming, Warren. 
Well, I feel like now that we've looked at everything, we should have a little less exploring to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we're just going back to the, yeah, the parking lot. Unless something else happens. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see if everything looks the same. Cool, cool, cool. He's doing, he's, uh, the other guy's gone. Yeah, the bro. Fuck this shit. <gasps> no, are you okay? What the fuck? He just threw the Damn, football at her. I better rewind. You're gonna catch it. All right, let's give ourselves plenty of time. Hey, you should move. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Oh, shit. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually <laughs> helped somebody. Nice. So I could have just left it? In the glass. Oh, wait a minute. I think it's a picture. The football with the broken glass. Where was it? Oh, right here? Yeah, it was that football at? Ooh, good call. Now that's what I call instant karma. <laughs> nice. Yeah, broken window. Super interesting photo. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Just four more. Okay. So it's not like this isn't actually what the photo might not be. Yeah, it's just kind of a hint. A hint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, there's more. Oh wow. So there's one more one more page. Two more pages. Oh, so it continues off from where we left off here on the left? Yeah. Okay. Well we'll uh, get to that later. I'm assuming between like it doesn't matter. We'll we'll still have those pages in the next uh, chapter or whatever. Mm -hmm. Should we check up on this Zach? We will in a moment. Now Alyssa can savor her bad novel in peace. Are you not like surprised Max, by what I that did? That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. <laughs> Bullies never <Aww>. change. <laughs> That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. I feel like we have tons of potential friends here. Yeah. Her, that other nerd, uh, <laughs> a couple other nerds. Daniel. Who been bull all the bullied kids. We could all be friends. Right, with. right, right. What's going on, Why Zach? Why are you so mad? I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Poor Juliet. So this is who Juliet's dating. So he's probably hearing about the whole, the whole thing? Yeah, With her, Dana. Victoria and Dana. And yeah. Juliet. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. What? Get lost, hipster. All right, whatever. Hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Okay, no one's left here, so let's skedaddle. Yes. <gasps> Victoria, uh oh. Thanks, but we're not friends. Thanks for. For like earlier when we talked, oh, or is she talking yeah, about something else? the paint bucket, I think. Yeah, for like you being nice to her. That's what I can only imagine. <sighs> I don't know about her. She's, I know, right? She makes it really hard for you not to like her. You know, or to to like her. Yes, she it makes, to yes, like her. exactly. Yeah. Uh oh. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. The Why is he you hassling understand her? What I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Uh, inter intervene. Oh, a photo for evidence. <gasps> hey, you think? Why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part Damn, of the Max? problem, Missy. I will remember Ooh, this conversation. See. Hmm. So probably Kate appreciates it, but oh, Max, that was great. Yeah, I think you scared him for once. He, now I'm on his I shit I have to go, list. but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I feel like that's better, you know. Can I rewind that one? I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but yeah. now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind let's and look, my own business. Let's look. Let's see what happens. I just want to know. Yeah. Okay. But I'm trying. We're trying to keep Kate's morale a little high. Did I go know? far enough? There we go. 
so don't think I'm... Let's see what this does. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. He's so mean. He is mean. Like, Kate does not look like she's up to anything. I know. Why is she the one being... Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Okay, so the other option definitely fell. Yeah. Man, I, I feel like step in yeah. between Kate and David. That it seems like it's so worth it line. to to have I him angry at us. Try something different. If it means Kate is on our, uh, she's our friend, right? So yeah. don't think I'm blind. Irvine. Okay. Nice. We are a hero. Yes, we are. So Kate's good. What do you think his problem is? <sighs> He's a dick. And that's his dick. <laughs> He's just an awful person. Yeah, man. And he can take it out He's on probably, in it, like helpless high schoolers. Yeah. He's pissed that he got kicked from the army. Maybe he's got a bad temper. Oh, so we just went straight there, huh? Is that him? Yeah. Warren with a car? Probably like a Volvo or something. <laughs> I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Good for you, Max. Agreed. I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. Oh, graffiti. Met. Cars equals death. Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. I never had a car. Do we have anything? In high school. Did you? I, I did, but only because, like, I lived... Well, maybe not only because, but I lived, like, 20 minutes from town. So my parents... Yeah. And I played tennis. So, like, we had two-a-days, you know. They would start at 7 a.m. And I don't think my parents wanted to <laughs> drive me. Mm -hmm. Who toilet papers a bike? But then I wrecked that car, so that's fun. Uh, let's read this really quick. Okay. So we we ended on that first paragraph. So more high school drama. Juliet wouldn't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was te sexting Dana. So stupid. I was so tired from everything, and since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive, I had to intervene. Mm. Juliet told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zach and Dana, so I knew that Victoria was playing them all. I snuck into Victoria's room and onto her laptop and found out that she was indeed lying through her ass just to create drama. Of course, I felt like a weasel going through Victoria's room and laptop. Once I gave Juliet the proof that Victoria was behind this, I went to get Warren's flash drive from Dana. She was in a weird mood, so I had a look around to see if I could find out why. I found a home pregnancy test along with a note from Logan and a doctor's appointment. Did we see the doctor's appointment? I did not, we didn't see it, no. Did I miss that somewhere else? Maybe. Hmm. Dana admitted she was pregnant and I realized that all my friends have troubles that are just as significant as mine. I'm starting to get the hang of this whole rewind thing. I don't want to waste this power, but there has to be a reason it was given to me. So I better learn how to use it right. I started by saving Alyssa from getting a football fueled headshot. I admit it felt amazing just to help Alyssa with something as simple as that. I also saw David Madsen hassling Kate Marsh. I couldn't hear everything, but he was accusing her of something. Yeah. All that guy can do is point fingers. I got so pissed. I went over to stop him from being such a bully. He's a security guard, not a stormtrooper. He was an asshole as usual, but I felt good about what I did and Kate seemed truly happy that somebody stood up for her. And I did that without using my rewind power. Well, no. <laughs> I kind of did it, but <laughs> that's okay. Cool, cool, cool. More missing person. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Yeah. It is. Of MPP? Damn, oh. somebody is seriously devoted well, to putting up these posters. Yeah. Could be Dad? Lady brother? Brother? Looks like a pretty old, worn down vehicle. Mm -hmm. Truck. Now this really pisses me off. 
so entitled. Oh. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Relatable. <laughs> right. Unless they're handicapped. He, but he's double parked, too. That's true. Oh, he's double parked over both handicapped yeah. spots? Okay, that's a that's, little... Yeah, that's a little too much. Yeah, a little too much. Can't even see the license plate, barely. No. Hmm. We just have this random RV in this parking lot. <laughs> hey, the R wait, RV picture. Is it a picture? It's has it's related in some way. Oh, the ah. dog just chilling here. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, <laughs> Cujo. <laughs> I feel like we should take a photo of the dog. I know. He'd be a great subject. Draw. That layer of dust is begging for oh. my finger. It's not a dirty window <laughs> unless somebody writes clean me on it. Right. <laughs> oh. Photo. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay lots. I'm so dirty. <laughs> what could the consequences of that be? I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it. Yeah. I'm feeling, you know, I'm living life on the edge with that one. <laughs> that is random, though. Mm-hmm. Another poster. Is that Dana? Or that Dana? Oh, oh Juliet. Juliet. Poster. So it looks like Juliet and Zachary. On the rocks. I don't yeah. get it. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? So Zach, so Zach and Victoria used to date, right? Or is it saying that they're currently dating? Oh. Because that was what Victoria said. She was mad that Juliet stole Zach from her. Right. Juliet still looks upset about Zach and Victoria. I don't blame her. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria so as a joke. So he did? Wow. Ha ha. Mm. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. <laughs> Hang in there, Juliet. Ah, so Here much drama. Max. Damn. Okay, well, it looks like that's just gonna... It's official, those two. How did we know... That she, that there was a sex between those two, between Victoria and Zach. Did I miss that somewhere? Yeah, how did she find out? Hey, Warren. Oh, his car. Warren's car. I have to go. Look oh. at Warren in his way back machine. He's a brave man. <laughs> there's tape in the back. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Oh. Thanks. No problem. Goes in for the hug. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can wow. go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. 60, 60 miles? A long time, Warren. <laughs> but then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better sure. job. Sure, I thought you said you're not an artist. Right. Well, we already know that. Yeah. So. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, <laughs> not art. Art is science. <laughs> Music is math, et cetera, et cetera. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Here we go. <laughs> Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool mm. graphics. That might not suck. Yeah, I'll sure. Let you know. So did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Movie booty. <sighs> Do we lie? Oh, that, so we didn't check it? Well, we took, we took a look at some things. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Akira. Zone, which seems apropos today. 
I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. <laughs> that does sound better than thief. <laughs> ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. This is interesting. Well, we definitely didn't. No. So that would be a lie. Yes. I don't feel like we should lie. Right. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is <laughs> twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Is that from the movie? Oh, is it? Maybe. Did we watch it? No. What was that from? Or was that a different show? I don't know. Uh... I don't know. Um, I feel like it's you, the triangle option is usually interesting, right? Yeah. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Okay. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. <laughs> Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. He's really pushing he it. He seems distracted. <laughs> Do we open up to warn? Let's do it. We, we can't keep it inside. Yeah. He might I think need to we're talk crazy, to somebody but... just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. <laughs> Tell me everything. <gasps> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean... Life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? What? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? Uh-oh, Nathan. I'm one of his students. Oh, What the no. fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Uh -oh. Answer me, bitch. Oh, shit. He came back. <laughs> Well, he already knows. Yeah. Anything I to told say, him the huh? truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. That's Everyone tries, though. Oh, God. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, <laughs> Max Caulfield. <laughs> Take a step. I gotta depend on myself. I know. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling Warren's gonna me come to my what defense. to do? Get away from her, dude. Warren's <laughs> done. Oh, he headbutted him. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom. <gasps> oh shit. Max? Oh. Chloe? What? No way. You again. Go, go, oh, I got this. No. Warren's gonna his ass kids. I am not. What? No. Get your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. That's me. Nobody. Okay, good. Security guy was there. Well, yeah, where was he? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. I was, I was. Okay, so she was under our noses the whole I time. I was a little, yeah, unsure whether or not that was going to be Chloe or not. But. Man. Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. What is that supposed to mean? Hmm. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. But oh, she and a lot. thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Warren. Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. Mm. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Hmm. But he had friends. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it was that no, bad. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. 
Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Mm. Mark Jefferson. I mean, it's true. Only it's for, for Jefferson. Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Why well, didn't... Okay, that's kind of on Max. Yeah. <sighs> I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically that's true. to fuck that's you true. over, Chloe. Right. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me. <sighs> there we go. Whoa. She's tatted, bro. She's so cool. Yeah. So things are a little tense between us. Oh, we're gonna okay. take a picture. Man, oh. are you serious? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. <laughs> Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. Damn. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. So Max... Oh, oh wait, oh. it's her truck. She was. The, she's the one who's yeah. been putting the posters. Did you say that? I was about to, yeah. Okay, so they must have been pretty close. Looks like it. Okay. So she has a stepdad, Chloe. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Don't be shy. Seems like a nice the house. house. Still looks nice. Yeah. Home, shit, home. So what was it that we? I wonder what, what, what like. She left with Chloe was in a bad spot. I wonder what happened. So she left and then just kind of stopped talking to her? Yeah. I wonder why. So edgy. Mm -hmm. Everybody lies, no exceptions. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool, at least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Oh. Is she smoking weed? Oh, cigarettes or, yeah, reefer. You never know. Or this coast? postcard is from Rachel Ember. <gasps> Miss you, Missy. wish you were here. I bet you they had a thing. Maybe. This is... There's no date on this, right? Um, no. no. Chloe Price. That's the last name. Wait, do it again? Or is it just a stamp? This postcard is from Rachel Seaside, Ember. Seaside, August 24th, 2011. Oh, wait. Wait, where is it? Right here. Oh, uh, okay. So that's several years ago. 2011. What is it right now? 2013. Okay. Drawer? Mind if I open your drawers? Man, I remember this furniture. We spent all day painting it blue. We had such a blast drawing these together. Aw, mm. she still has our stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Power Girls. Freedom Eagle. 2007. And Super Kitty. There's a little cat there. I like it. And, oh gosh, this seems like a bad this idea. This looks like a laundry bag. Well, let's search it. <laughs> and it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Fair enough. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. <laughs> Sounds like fun. What do we got? One day your life will flash before your eyes. Mm. Think like a man. <laughs> Everybody lies, and no exceptions. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. This is for the car? Uh, $3,000? Yikes. Uh, I don't even want to hear about car problems. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we're, we're still at this point. Um, 
when we're filming this in October, we yeah. still don't have our car. Right. Totally fixed. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. So what now? Power strip? Ooh, There's the power on. strip. Do I need it for some reason? For the, hey, maybe for the music? Hey, that used to be in the living room. Maybe to turn on her music. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. Well, we're about to find out. <laughs> Look at that. Aww. Chloe and her dad were so Maybe close. Maybe he, he had just died or something. Yeah, I bet. Reed? Oh, just that. The bunny. Cat? Oh, was it a cat? Oh, it was cat. I okay. thought I. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so, potential lost Saw dad. That. Pizza on the floor. Gotta Classic. be careful, you're gonna get ants. Uh, I'm just, I was thinking about the wasteful pizza. <laughs> just too, I know. You know we would never waste that pizza. No. Mm hmm. So, it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Okay. Trash can. I'm being Chloe's so trash nosy. Overfloweth. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? <laughs> she does love trouble. She's a bit of a, a rebel. So much. Parking infraction, parking warning ticket. Mm. Oh, that was that. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Look. We used to dare each other to climb down, but <laughs> never did. Maybe someday we will. Is this a desk or a storage space? I think this junk swallowed her discs. Can we talk to her? Yeah, we can. Ooh, what's this? Looks okay, hidden. Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. Yeah. Yes, it does. Okay, before, there's still so much to do. Chloe's dad built this dresser. Mm. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. <laughs> Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track dad of her height. Dad is gone. Aww. That's sad. Nothing but oh, junk boy. and dishes. Cigs, beer. Damn. Well, she's enjoying her time, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we do laptop? Sure. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's just try. CDs. Oh. So, so I'm assuming it's our mission right now to uh, put some music on. Yeah. <gasps> Rachel. That's the picture that's on the poster. It's them too. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. Mm. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Oh. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. Damn. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were going to kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. LA. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia, without a word, without she left. me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. 
I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Oh. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you. Damn. Rachel. Okay, well, you really pile it on God. the guilt. <laughs> Can you put on some music now? <sighs> okay. Why would Rachel disappear? Met she somebody. met someone? Also, do you think the stepdad is the uh, security guy? Sergeant Shithead? Uh, Unless she's just using that as like a, a name. That would suck. It would make sense because he sounds like a horrible, you know, yeah. a, a horrible person. The security guy is pretty crappy. Yeah, she said uh, the dad was a tool. The stepdad was a tool. Okay. Hard to believe Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. What could have happened to Rachel? I I really have no idea. Do you think it'll come back to like the whole powers and turning back time? I wonder if that would all if it all you know. I don't know. Or is it just some separate mystery? All right, let's turn on the power strip. <laughs> I like it. I have had a very similar stereo set. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sounds Dude. like she's had a pretty tough time. Looks anyway, like you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Okay. Sounds good. Can we take it, you know, take a little My quick step uh, ass puff? keeps tools down in the garage. I bet you can find something to fix your camera. All right, let's venture out. I'm kind of scared. So if it is uh, the, uh, the security guard, he's going to be pretty pissed at us. I, I guess. Let's investigate every single room in the house. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe. But here I am. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Except for me and Chloe. I also grew up in a pretty small town, so this is that part of it's feeling very relatable to. Oh. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. What the hell happened? Can I? Can I prevent that from happening? You gonna open the window? I'm curious. I, I mean, it wasn't marked as a. Nice. Good call. I mean, there's a bird in the house now, but... <laughs> um, oh, the photo! Picture. Maybe? Maybe not. You've been resurrected, birdie. Fly, be free. <laughs> you should probably get out of here. Yeah. Aw. That was nice. Joyce always loved her mail-order catalogs of useless crap. Joyce. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. So that's that's the new husband? William. Okay, so it's not. It's not the security. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, was she was she pregnant? Maybe. She looks pregnant, doesn't she? Aw. Hmm. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband the alarm may clock not is... be such a douche. <laughs> not powered? Act, react, or die. A 21st century survival guide. Whoa. Apocalypse self-help. The dad might, the stepdad might be a little Dog weird. Dog tags. Sweet. Oh, it is. David Matson. It is. So was William the, that was the old? That oh, was the guy who passed away. Oh, that was the away. old, uh, okay. What? Damn it, I'm, I'm sad that I was right. <laughs> Fuck. That sucks. Of course. I mean, he's, yeah. He's horrible enough at school. I'm sure he's awful at home. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hope he doesn't, like, kill the bird or oh something. My. I know. 
Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. Joyce still works at the diner, and Chloe's new dad is a security guard. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I'm sure they don't get along very well. Uh oh. The prices are late on their bills. Damn. Forty-three hundred. Yikes. Uh -oh. The prices are late on their bills. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's oh. stepdad <laughs> might not be a douchebag after all. Come, come on, Max. We already know who it is. I know. <laughs> we know that this is true. <laughs> Maybe they'll just know that I was in the room. Mm, oh. By, if you, by uh, opening the uh, window. Yeah. Because I could close it, but then the bird's still going to be in here. Right. Let's just see what happens. Should I just leave it here? I don't know. No, we'll, we'll keep it open. Maybe they'll just forget. Yeah. That they, that they, you know, didn't have it open in the first place. Snooping, successful. Yes, okay, so, yeah, stepdad, we know who the stepdad is, unfortunately. They have some financial issues. This is just Whoa. stuff. Dark. Ah. I cannot see anything. What do we have here? This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Oh, Chloe's a vegan? Is Chloe vegan? Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. Mm. Hair dye. <laughs> I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. Chloe's a teen. Mm. I hope she's okay. I'll even shut off the lights so we can conserve electricity. Yeah. Global warming, right? They, they right. keep bringing it up. Nothing. Nothing. That's, Nothing. That's where we came from. <laughs> Wrong way. All right, let's head down. Into the depths. Ah. So I imagine Stepdad is going to be home soon. If school's out. Yeah. Uh-oh, he is. Security hat. Oh, there's so much to look at. Doesn't look like the Price family mm. is rolling in dough these days. Yeah. Ouch. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Just leave. Do we have more journal entries about, oh my gosh, we have. This day keeps getting stranger. I don't even believe what I'm writing and I can't even do a simple task like giving Warren back his flash drive without getting into a situation. In this case though, it turned out, out half bad and half good, which I guess is the yin and yang of life. When I met with Warren in the lot and checked out his new retro wheels, guess who showed up? Nathan Prescott, freaking out all over again. He got all up in my face to accuse me of bullshit. Even though I was scared because I know what he did to that girl in the bathroom, I was more furious. Mm. Then the girl in the bathroom pulled up in a truck. My former best friend, Chloe Price. We both looked at each other like WTF. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I was in her truck as Warren earned his man card and tried to get Nathan off my ass. I owe Warren big time. Seeing Chloe for the first time in five years was such a shock. I was almost paralyzed, especially after realizing that Nathan had almost killed her right in front yeah. of me. Now Chloe shows up out of the blue to save me. Of all the bizarro and unexplainable shit happening today, sitting in Chloe's battered truck, listening to music, and staring at her dashboard bobblehead might be at the top. So I tried to process the fact that Chloe and I were two best friends who didn't know each other anymore. She had blue hair, piercings, and cool boots, and I, I looked like a dork. I didn't know where to start, and she wasn't exactly extending an olive branch. So we sat like strangers. At least I had time to catch my breath and realize that in the parking lot melee with Nathan and Warren, my camera got busted up. Yeah. I didn't care considering everything else going on, but it sucked on top of everything else going on. Going back to Chloe's old house for the first time in five years was like the ultimate rewind. Some things were obviously different, but some things weren't. The house smelled exactly the same as it did when we were growing up. 
Chloe's room was like an exploded version of her new adult self. Cool and chaotic. I could tell she was pissed. She wanted to blaze up and chill, so I explored her room to catch up on what she was into these days. Then I found a photo of Chloe with Rachel Amber. Chloe freaked and laid into me for not calling her once. I deserved it. She had become best friends with Rachel, and they were going to bail on Arcadia Bay and head out to Los Angeles for fame and fortune. I could tell how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one putting up the posters. I felt even shittier about leaving Chloe alone all those years when she most needed me. You suck, Max. But Chloe is obsessed with Rachel, the missing girl. She says Rachel vanished after meeting some amazing dude, mm. probably some psycho online. Chloe wanted to smoke out and be alone, so I went downstairs to find tools to fix my camera. Okay. And we probably have More about Rachel. Warren, Chloe, and Rachel. Okay. I knew if I gave Warren my phone, he would blow it up for science. He wants his flash drive back after letting me borrow it for less than a week. He told me to watch everything because he has tons of cool TV shows and films on there. Thank God it was important and I'm thankful for Warren. He's like a real friend and we share a lot of the same interests. He loves science, but he really understands art and appreciates great photography. Even though he says he loves my pictures, I can't tell if he's just being nice. Warren is a geek, but he definitely lets you know where he stands. I don't know. I don't think he would ever lie to me. It feels good to have at least one strong ally of the same age here, and he makes me smile. I'm getting I'm getting friend zone vibes friend with zones. Warren. Like yeah. she really appreciates him, but she doesn't feel romantically right. anything for him. I know, I know, I know. Then there's Chloe Price. What do you say to your best friend after five years of silence? After finding out you saved her life in a bathroom? Nothing. I feel so lame for not staying in touch, or even text. I have no idea how to process seeing Chloe like this again. For one thing, she looks so similar but so different. She's all grown up now, but it doesn't seem like she's only one year older than me. I absolutely love her blue hair and punk clothes. It makes sense she would become a rebel. She still kind of looks like a pirate, except one who stage dives. I know she's angry with me because of her body language. I'm glad I can still see the old Chloe in there. Or is that the young Chloe? I'm sure she's still messed up about her dad dying. I would be too. That was a terrible time for Chloe and Joyce. I feel bad because I wonder if I was happy to move away just to avoid the grief. Speaking of grief, it's clear she's all mixed up with Nathan Prescott's shit. I have no idea what's going on between them, but I am going to find out no matter what. Where is Rachel Amber? Even though Blackwell Academy feels so remote and tranquil, you still get some you get sad reminders of reality like missing person posters literally wallpapered all over campus. I already know what her name through osmosis. I guess she was a popular student here and vanished six months ago. Rachel has a great picture on her missing person poster. She looks posed and pretty like a model. Of course, I wonder who took the photo. Did she run away from home? I'd like to hope so. For her sake, it's so depressing and I feel awful for her parents. What a shitty thing to go through. Sigh. No matter how much a black girl seems like a secret bubble of knowledge, you can't escape the real world. It's true. All right, I think that's everything. That's everything. Any stars left? There we go. All right, so that door is blocked. Mm -hmm. This door is nothing. Let's take a look at some photos. More. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. And a skater as well. Damn. Cat. <laughs> oh. That scared me. That scared me too. Kate. I'm on edge. I think David's around here somewhere. Yeah. You so got it. No problem. That guy is an asshole. Well, we're about to meet him, so. Uh, where is he? He's probably having a beer or something. Probably. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I think there's something wrong with the TV. Maybe, yeah, something. It's glitching. Scott squeak, squeak squeaking X. Squeaking X. Maybe, yeah. maybe he's uh, the security guard is like a dick because like financial situations. He's pissed off. I guess. Maybe. Travel <sighs> money. I'd love to go to Paris too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. <laughs> Donuts. <gasps> <laughs> Are we just gonna leave these donuts unattended to? I know. Joyce still works at Two Wells Diner. 
best damn burgers. Oh, in so that's what she she I mentioned it earlier when we were in the yeah. parking lot, right? Joyce, yes. but we didn't know who Joyce was going at that to point. The diner. Cereal, well, milk, peanut butter, chocolate cake, oil, bananas, toilet paper. Well, it's probably the only diner in this place. So <laughs> I know, right? I think by default, it's the best one here. <laughs> okay, kitchen is done. Love you, mom. mom. The the time isn't set on every anything. No, it's always blinking. All right, no one's here. He's gonna be in the garage where we're. Yes. Going. Oh, I see the beer. Yeah, that is. looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Yum. Oh, I want pizza. I know. I'm getting hungry. Sliding oh. door. Do I want to be out here? Bruh. I guess. I can feel oh, autumn pushing out to summer. BBQ. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. Oh. A cat? Great. Don't tell me it's for the cat. The super cat. We made Bongo. this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. What? Oh, it wasn't even old age. Damn, that sucks, man. He was nine. nine. That's a cute name. Bongo. Bongo. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. Still have it. It's almost invisible now. No. Beer cans, looks like. A shoe? A shoe. Can we swing? Let's swing. Swing, swing. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. William sounds like an amazing guy. How did Joyce go from William, William? to David? Yeah, it seems like a major downgrade. <laughs> what do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Sounds like the life. Yeah. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. That's how it started. As if I ever could be. No. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. Maybe she will be. Yeah, it's still, it's still just, it's, it's sad that they drifted apart. It sounded like they were such good friends. Yeah, maybe they can rebuild off something. Hopefully. Oh, I, I, I bet. I don't want to run into David. <laughs> All right, we looked at everything here. Let's check out the TV. living room. Big TV. Yeah. Thought they had financial. If financials. I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. He's a hunter. A hunter. Should, the terrible couch the core. I, Damn, I gotta... it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. <laughs> that is an ugly it's pattern. Like a ship now. Exactly. Or is it is are the dots part of the I think pattern, or is it just supposed to be like dirt? It's so weird. I, I, hopefully that's part of the the pattern. Because what would that be if it wasn't? <laughs> I know. <gasps> I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. I want to know. Yeah. It's part of the bank. If you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered. Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. Hmm. It's a big twist that David's going to actually be a good guy. He's just a little high strung. High strung about everything. I mean, that, that seemed to come from a place of, like, Concern. worry about her safety, but that was just one message. We'll see. Oh, great. I guess they're aging, these books. All right, here we go. 
I should be able to find the tools I need here. Probably a gun, a few guns as well. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? I know. Has she not made it? I the, don't know. The conclusion? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Mm. Keep up, Max. <laughs> Gun rack. Uh, Switch on. Switch. Oh, is it the... Oh, a light? Damn. He's packing. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. What uh -oh. if that's the gun that... Nathan had? Would that be, is that possible? Or is I bet he has his own guns. That's true. He's probably rich, uh, rich enough yes. to. Yes, score. What? Unless Chloe has it. Nah, nah, I don't think so. Guess it's possible. Williams, there's a box that said Williams stuff up there. Williams stuff, ooh. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Am I gonna knock the boxes off? With that the... does not look stable. Okay. Is he gonna like shake off? <laughs> nice. nice. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. So we need like a, a broomstick? Um. Okay. Oh, yes, here's some ancient cardboard. Before we do that, ooh, laptop! This must Is that, belong do I need a password? Stepdad. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Yeah. Not David? I am not David. Got cigs, more drinks. Yeah. Oh shit. Car. I wonder where he is then. Trophy. Poor little deer. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Food? They're very Working well stocked. That food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. He's, so he had that survival book, right? So he's probably into oh yeah, yeah. survival uh, and just all kinds of crazy case, stuff. Yeah, that shelf looks like it uh might break. I Collapse don't know. Any minute, right? Rice cereal. Oh, so this is the door that was blocked. Yeah. Cars being tended to. Check out the muscle car. <sighs> Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Cupboard? Oh, files. The tools Ooh. might be in this cupboard. Is that corned beef? Ew. I wonder what's in those files up there. We're gonna find out. Shit. Oh, shit. Whoops. Butterfingers. <gasps> Damn it. So can I not look at them? Hey, wait, let me look really quick. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures right. of her? Is okay, he... this is getting totally weird. She knows something. About you think it's about Rachel? Rachel? That's a very zoomed in photo. Bro, what if Kate isn't as like innocent you as she seems? Also, it's kind of, but it's also creepy that he's kind of following her around. Is that it? Okay. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Hmm. Okay. Okay, are we good? Yeah. So. Eight. Honestly, this, the whole reversing thing, it's really great for like, it's kind of like like a detective style yeah, 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 yeah. game, you know? Mm -hmm. It's quite it's quite satisfying when yeah. you do something, you mess up, but then you're like, oh, I can just change it. Yes. Security? Camera? Where, what is it? What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has Ooh. serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Hmm. There's not like one in their bedrooms, I hope. That would be kind of creepy. <sighs> That's not a good look. That's not a good look. In their bedroom where they sleep? And that looks hidden, but it's not in Chloe's room, it looks like. So could we go back? No, I guess you wouldn't. And check the camera. I don't know. 
Oh, and like, get rid of it? I don't know. Hmm. Should I switch the song? Decisions, decisions. A map? Oh, of the school? Can I uh, look at it? Yes. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Placement of, oh, security cameras. Yeah. Okay, um, can we close this? Yes, we can. <laughs> Gotta cover our tracks. <laughs> um, I think all that's left then is to get those Ooh. Those tools. So I opened that. I looked at that. I did not find a password anywhere. No. I was going to say, this feels like a uh, Last of Us workbench. <laughs> oh, let's uh, switch this off, too. Good call. Just to be safe. Yes, here's some ancient oh, right. cardboard. I hope this works. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't realize. Gotcha. Can I go back that far? I did a lot of stuff since then. Right. So what is this for? It's, yeah, it's still... Yeah, that... What? There we go. Cool. Oh. What? Oh, did it? No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Now we're good. Yeah. And turn on. Voila. Wow, we're so so cool. <laughs> uh yep, that's turned so on. So you still have like you still know that there's gonna be like a cameras in there, right? I think so. I think I yeah, I keep all of the knowledge or do I not? Maybe not. Interesting. Well, I feel like you do. She's not saying anything. Yeah. Unless it's the action of just opening the, oh. the closet? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. We will, not closet, the cupboard. Cupboard. Okay. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Yes, we do. So do you work? I've got the tools. Oh, I should go back go. upstairs before Chloe freaks. Oh, I have spent so yeah. much time just wandering around. Hey, Chloe, I'll be with you in a moment. You gonna check? That camera's there. You couldn't open before. Joy still we? works at the diner. Oh. Uh -oh. Chloe's new dad is a security guard. Damn. I can't do anything. Uh -oh. Okay. Wait, so, but, but he'll probably know that I was in here, right? Why? If he looks at the recording? Because you can see the camera. Oh. <laughs> so he might know I've been snooping around. Yeah. The bird's still here. <laughs> Whoops. See, that's what I want to avoid with the security cameras at school, is yeah. I want to be able to snoop around right. and not be afraid. Yo. We are back. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Thanks. She's a pro. Not good enough. Oh no. Bro, she is so? tatted, bro. I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. She's interesting. Wait, I've seen this before. 
Uh, no The way. butterfly? When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? Oh. In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan oh. raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Hella. Now tell me the <laughs> truth, Max. Oh yeah, I was there. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you were a ninja. Yeah, a the ninja. ninja. Cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I mean, no. Yeah. Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. <laughs> okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? I told, I didn't, I didn't rat you out. Absolutely, Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. That was scary. Oh, was she gonna be mad? Who right. did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash Hey, I just got Academy. here. I don't know right. how don't things work. Him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Now, now we can just be like, you know, back on normal terms, right? Yeah, exactly. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. What? That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and Aww. now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This Back camera is terms. so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. <laughs> or take my picture with your new camera. You have a choice? We gotta take a pic picture. Take a pic, take a pic. Gotta test it out. Vintage. Yeah. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Rock out, spelled with R A W K. Right. Break it down. Here to ruin the party. Oh shit, okay. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on! <sighs> Asshole. Uh -oh. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Uh, you gotta oh, hide. No fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Why? Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Closet. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, Closet. find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm what coming. Are you doing? Closet, I Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Son of a bitch. Of course, the easiest, the easiest option had to, you know. Under the coming. bed or outside. Chloe, you're stalling. Oh shit, you're right. I'm changing. Give me a minute. I. This is going nowhere fast. No. I better look someplace else. Can I? Uh, let's just, uh, you know, give ourselves some time. Um, I'm changing. Give me a minute. Move. Don't get oh, smart. you have to Just move. Let me in now. Will that help? Please. One that second. Help? My bra is stuck. I'm not okay. around, soldier. Gotcha. Chloe, soldier. Open this door. <laughs> Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat. We'll do that to you. Mm, please get some PTSD. One of my guns is missing. So it isn't. Did you take with it? Him. Oh God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control. Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, okay. guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? 
I feel like I should stay hidden. Mm. Like, unless you, what do you take the blame? It's like it's oh, it's our weed. That's the only thing I can I can think of. But I mean, I feel like she'd be mad. I'm gonna try staying hidden. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce like now. Hit. Oh, oh, maybe I should step in. Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother, and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. <sighs> you'll let me change this, right? I'm sure. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. You gonna try to switch? David we gotta try it. Bastard to I have a you. feeling that's still the better what option. What if I had stepped up to help? But... Let's find out. Where am I? Okay. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just get let me that. in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. Shit. Whose is it? I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, joint. well. I don't like strangers in my home, especially dopers. Dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Hmm. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. <sighs> like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know, you're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. I don't know what's better, honestly. I know. Because you're such a badass, Max. <laughs> Let me show you my new toy. You do have the gun? Oh no. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, don't point that at me! Down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yeah. Is it? I thought you believed you in gun control. You always treat it like it's yes, loaded. Yes, I believe I should yeah. control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? No. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass okay. down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. That sounds better. What do you think? It's. I mean, anyway, he's just let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. <laughs> But so far, no one seems to like me that much that's a person Man, of that authority, did not go well so... For me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody. Even Chloe. I have to think about thing. my own future. Uh, that, this one is tough. This one is tough. But she also found out that she has a gun. I mean, I kind of like the going the Max is actually super cool route and yeah. stands up to anyone, right. but is it like how, like, do you think that's going to, what, get back to my parents? You know, they're going to report that I had weed. I know. Like how, is it possible to like lose the game? Like, Lou, like, like if, if they kick me out of the school? No. I mean, Chloe thought it was cool, so. <laughs> What's the scenario you could always run away with Chloe? I think, I think, I think I'm going to stick with it. Okay. For now. He really doesn't like me, though, because I intervened with Kate, too. As well, yeah. Oh, well. And you're a doper. <laughs> Officially. You're giving me a look I haven't seen for a while? What's the problem? Why steal a gun from your stepdad? You know you're gonna get busted. 
Or somebody like Nathan will bust me with a cap. Screw that. I need to cover my own back. Your stepdad won't let you off the hook that easy. What the hell does he need another gun for? To mow down Bigfoot cheerleaders? This is all just so scary. I know, Max. But I do feel safer having a 9mm in my pants. Can you actually use it? After about a hundred online videos? Oh. Hell yeah. Just don't keep it in your pants, okay? Max, I'm not looking for trouble. I just want protection. If anybody in this country should have guns, it should be women. I don't think we're gonna stop her, so... No. Hard to believe Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. Okay. All right, let's get out of here, I guess. Whew. That was intense. One of the toughest decisions to make. I'm, I'm unsure. I'm unsure about it, but... We have yet to see how big of an impact these choices are going to make. Yeah, I know. So far, I mean, the biggest one has been Nathan coming up and mm. accusing us. You think he would have done that anyway, but maybe had different dialogue somehow? I know. The lighthouse. It looks a bit different now. Mm -hmm. I know a picture's coming up. That yeah. bench. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe the uh, bird as well. Mm. Idea. Isn't this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Weird. Oh, right. The bench. Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me. Stare contest. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> is this still the first episode? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's taking us a little bit longer. I know. Right, it wouldn't just like move on. Yeah. Can we just leave? How far back can we go? Oh, yes! Yeah, nice. Always backtrack if you can. I got you. Cool. Nice. Uh oh, there it is. We need two. We more. must have missed that one. The top one. Yeah, it's a man with a bow tie. Bow tie. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. <laughs> Don't feed the Sasquatch. I'll try my best. Fence. That old fence is part of the landscape now. The path behind it leads to the parking lot. Okay. All right, let's Good get back. Know. Are you surprised how quickly Chloe's cool with you? I mean, a little bit, I guess. Mm -hmm. But she seems, you know, I guess she's happy to have us back too. Yeah, but I feel like now you're really, like, your relationship still, though, if you, like, don't side with her. Mm. I feel like, I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Leads lead to some trouble. Yeah. No, don't let her. It's too nice. <laughs> oh, can I go over here? No. So pretty. Oh. Warren. Oh yeah, did we not like check in on him? I know, you must have a Shriner from Nathan. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? K-E-K? -E I don't know what that means. I'm not familiar with that lingo. Poor Warren. Your white knight, Warren. <laughs> Look at him, what a trooper. Mm -hmm. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. There's the bench. <gasps> the photo! Nice. A stump. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Max and Chloe. Too bad I can't yeah. rewind that far back. Hmm. Oh, eight. I don't remember this at all, but it seems like it's been here for a long time. That's nice.
Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it. Our tree fort? So we'd fort. always be able to find each other in case of emergency. Oh, I'm sure that'll come back to play. <sighs> Litter. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Graffiti everywhere. How Trust long has one. that been here? What's this? Oh, it's the Sasquatch. Clearly. The Bigfoots Big are foots. everywhere. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, it's all the same, right? Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. It's a bit darker on this side. Yeah. <gasps> Footprints. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? I don't know. Is it? I can't tell if it's a paw. Yeah, it looks like like a dog or something. Or a wolf. <gasps> a coyote. A tree haiku. How pretty. Can we go? In the lighthouse? It's probably yeah. locked. If I had to guess. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go take a pic. Can we? Yes. With the new can. Uh, I'm mad that you're missing one. I am. Uh, I'm mad. Yeah. I'm mad for sure. <laughs> we'll have a few more pages to read. We won't worry about them now, though. Nice place. Wow, oh. that is blinding. <laughs> Walk it with my big head. <laughs> sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. Mm. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. Mm. He has some kind of weird agenda. Yeah. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you Can take we a talk peek? about the cameras? Uh. Well, I, yeah, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. Mm. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew there you didn't are. Know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Hmm. Interesting. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. Oh. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. Uh. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? He was gonna rush Actually, gonna yes. Rob. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. Right, the And car. before I could get a chunk of that from yeah. Nathan, yeah. he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Oh, fucking hell. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Sounds like it. 
Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. Mm. So we met in the bathroom. And he That's... brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safe. I'm sorry. Already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Me too. Seeing you after all these years feels like destiny. I feel like the mood changed. Yeah. What's going on? If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Uh-oh. What's going on, Max? Are we back? To, to the, the storm? storm? Oh, oh. No. Not again! Oh no! Why is this happening to me? Why am I here again? Oh! That wasn't here before, right? Is it... like a ghost? Hmm. Or is this kind of like an in-between reality type type place? Maybe. Uh, is there something we can do here? Is Chloe still up there? Oh shit! I have to Whoa. find out. Hello. Oh my god, Jesus! Don't jump scare me like that, man. Yeah, well that feels pretty real. Can I? I guess enough another round. Yeah. Is there? Is that fence? Um, I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. I can't see. No. Uh, to teleport yourself. Wait. So what? You rewind before the tree falls. Can you move while while you're doing that? No. I guess I just need to get closer. Gotcha. So I have time to cross. Mm. Go! Nice. Ah! We have this deer guiding us almost. Hey, buddy. What the heck is going on? It could be a spirit. Tornado's still here. Oh, hello. Ooh. That was close. I feel like the doe is leading me. The doe. What do you want me to see, huh? Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Can we... Shit! Ah! What do we do about this? That is a good question. Can we, like, go? Shit. Or do we need... Do I need that? What happened? Yeah. Okay. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Newspaper. Newspaper. What is it? What is it? What is it? October 11th? Is this Friday? Is this That's Friday? That's only four days away. What? So this is gonna happen? This is like the future? Yeah. Oh. That tornado is headed straight for the town. That is no ordinary tornado. No. Right? Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just saw No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Hardcore. Something hardcore. Talk to Can me. Can I reveal the truth? I had the same vision earlier in class. 
When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What? Oh, snow? What the hell is this? It's a little early for snow, like right? 80 degrees. Yeah. How? Climate change. So is that what it's all about? Like climate change? Max, like unusual weather? Start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Huh. Hmm. Okay. The plot is thickening. It is. Is that the uh, episode one wrap? Wait, did he take down the... Camera? That way she used to get out? The, the little room? Oh, I don't know. His choice. Okay. Oh, she is not doing well. No. Doug! Who is this? Who is that? I have no idea. Keep drinking. Is that? You said that's Luke? Is that Luke? I think. I thought it was uh, Nathan for a second. Oh, maybe. Rachel. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we get a, a recap! Yeah! Ooh, okay. We reported Nathan. Oh, Six. so we get percentages! Nice. <laughs> oh, I guess I was pretty much in the majority then. Yeah. You could have blamed Chloe? How? I don't know. I wonder know. if there's like more you could have like you could have you rewinded took the blame for chloe or you came out of hiding to intervene what if what if you like didn't hide yeah 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 yeah, yeah i bet okay 78 percent comforted victoria seemed like the right thing to do mm -hmm. oh let daniel draw your 47% did not. I wonder if there's yeah. a reason for that. Look at the petition. 50-50, almost. Helped Alyssa, oh yeah, with the football. Erase the insults on Kate's slate. Yep. Water your plant. Well, technically we touched yeah. Ada's pregnancy test. <laughs> so this is saying the choice is like, that's what you stuck with, not yeah. if you did both. Mm -hmm. Didn't touch Victoria's photos. You wrote on a dirty RV. Uh oh, is that a bad choice? You didn't write on the dirty RV. Saved the birds. Didn't break. Uh oh, that's something I missed. Chloe's snow globe. I have no idea what that was. Yeah. Cool. Okay. That's a wrap for the first episode of Life is Strange. Mm. I'm still left with a lot of questions. A lot of questions. We had some answered, like who is the blue haired girl, which is Chloe. Chloe. But yeah, all this stuff with the storm, supposedly it's something that's mm. going to happen in the future. Yeah. Because it seemed like the snow was a real thing, right? Yes. The, a real time thing mm. happening. Then we had this mysterious doe, could be a spirit guiding yeah. us. So I wonder what that's all about. And still like no idea why we have these powers. powers. I know. That just kind of came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. But we did a little bit. We learned a little bit more about Chloe's and Nathan's dynamic. What happened between those two, and also Chloe's relationship with Rachel. Rachel. Mm -hmm. 
And yeah, Nathan is one of our biggest enemies at this point, yeah. alongside the security the guy, guy and I guess the principal. As well, yeah, I know. So how are you feeling about your decisions overall? I, I feel pretty good. I'm a little bit worried about just everyone kind of being out to get me, all of the yeah, adults, I but I think we can handle it. Mm -hmm. So far, I kind of like the max that we are kind of creating throughout mm -hmm. our choices. A ninja of sorts, <laughs> a, a hero. Yeah, she's cool. Chloe's cool. I'm excited to see their relationship continue to develop mm -hmm. um, into you know something new because they've both grown up in the time that they've right. been apart. I'm also excited for. I'm sure there's going to be some romance. There's the Warren. There's you know yeah. just lots of other stuff kind of going right, on. Right. Right. Chloe also has a gun, which I feel like will yeah. come to, in the play eventually. Not sure when though. Yeah, I guess I wasn't expecting the intensity of a lot of the conflicts that are happening. Mm. There's like a lot of serious subjects, I feel like, but it's been cool to explore everything so far. That is all for this one. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts and we will see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.